Let's factor the equation x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. So we're going to use these rules here, these steps, to factor this equation. The first step is we should set up a skeleton equation. So that'll look like this right here. So we have our skeleton. Next, we see that we have a negative on the middle term. If the center term is negative, we're going to have two negatives here in our skeleton. So we're going to put a negative here and a negative here. Our next step is to look at the factors for the last term. That's the 5 here. See if they should equal the middle term. So we could say for 5, 1 times 5, that would give us 5. And that's really the only factor. So we just put a 1 and a 5 here, and we should be set. Let's check our work with the FOIL method. So the first term, x times x, that gives us x squared. The outside terms, x times negative 5, that's negative 5x. Inside, negative 1 times x, that's just negative x. And then the last terms, negative 1 times negative 5, that gives us a positive 5. All that equals 0. So we could combine these right here, since they're similar. We end up with x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. And this is the same thing as we got up here. So we know that we factored this correctly. Let's find the values for x that when we put them back into the equation here, it'll make this side of the equation 0, just like this. So we could say x minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides. x would equal a positive 1. Over here, we could say x minus 5 equals 0. x, we add 5 to both sides, equals a positive 5. So if we put 1 in for x, 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 5, that'll all equal 0. So we know that that's correct. Likewise, we could put 5 in and that this side would equal 0 as well. So these are the roots for the equation x squared minus 6x plus 5. If you used the quadratic equation, you would get the same values here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Thanks for watching.